The TCPIP Transmission Control Protocol Internet Protocol Model is a practical, real-world framework used to define how data is transmitted over the Internet and other networks. It is the foundation of modern networking and consists of four layers, each responsible for specific tasks in data communication. Here's an in-depth explanation. Layers of the TCP IP model. 1. Application layer. Purpose. Enables communication between applications running on different devices. Functions. Provides services like email, file transfer, and web browsing. Converts user-friendly data into a format understood by lower layers. Protocols. HTTP, Hypertext Transfer Protocol, Web Browsing, FTP, File Transfer Protocol, File Sharing, SMTP, Simple Mail Transfer Protocol, Email Sending, DNS, Domain Name System, Resolves Domain Names to IP Addresses. 2. Transport Layer, Purpose, Ensures Reliable or Unreliable Delivery of Data Between Devices. Functions, Segments Data for Efficient Transfer, Provides Error Detection and Correction, Maintains End-to-End -end Communication Protocols, TCP, Transmission Control Protocol, reliable connection-oriented protocol that ensures data arrives in order and error-free, e.g., web browsing email. UDP, User Datagram Protocol, unreliable, connectionless protocol used for faster, less critical applications like video streaming or online gaming. NASH 3, Internet Layer, purpose, routes data across networks using logical addressing, IP addresses, functions, handles the logical addressing and path selection for data packets, manages the fragmentation and reassembly of data packets. Protocols, Internet Protocol, core protocol for addressing and routing. IPv4, older version, uses 32-bit addresses. Newer version, uses 128-bit addresses to address exhaustion issues. ICMP Internet Control Message Protocol, used for diagnostics, e.g. ping. A ARC, Address Resolution Protocol, maps IP addresses to MAC addresses. 4. Network Access Layer, Purpose, manages the physical transmission of data over the network. Functions, converts packets into frames and sends them over the physical medium, e.g. cables, Wi-Fi. Handles MAC addressing and error detection at the physical layer. Protocols, Ethernet, Wi-Fi at 82.11, PPP, point-to-point -point protocol. How TCP IP works, 1. Data Creation. Applications generate data, e.g. sending an email. 2. Transport layer. Breaks the data into segments, adds port numbers, and ensures reliability, TCP or UDP. 3. Internet layer. Encapsulates segments into packets with IP addresses for routing. 4. Network access layer. Converts packets into frames and transmits them over the network medium. 5. Data reception. The process is reversed at the receiving end. Key features of TCP IP. Scalability can accommodate networks of all sizes. Interoperability works across different hardware and operating systems. Protocol Suite includes essential protocols like TCP, IP, HTTP, FT, etc. Reliability provides mechanisms for error correction and retransmission via TCP. Flexibility supports multiple communication types, e unicast, multicast. Advantages of TCP IP. Universally accepted and used, supports a wide range of routing and addressing schemes. Reliable, scalable, and suitable for both LANs and WANs. Disadvantages of TCP IP. Not as flexible for new protocols. Complicated to configure in smaller networks. Lacks strict layer separation compared to the OSI model.